So where did this all get started when India got colonized? So Hindutva was the term for people who were trying to get the colonizers out of their country. And you think that's a problem? Ooh, Hindutva. Ooh. <laughs> if someone had, criminals had came to your home and taken it over and stolen everything, and then you came with the police and tried to take it back, do we have a problem here? Or are you just trying to move back into your home? So, the thing to know is the Hindus in the Hindu Vedic Sanatana Dharma culture have not yet actually recovered from the terrible things done to them in the last 400 years by Islam, Christianity, colonizers, people who took their wealth, enslaved their culture, and they're trying to recover their balance. And Narendra Modi is a wonderful, intelligent, dedicated, truth-telling person who's the first Hindu Tva ruler that India has had for a thousand years. Think of that. Imagine if the king and queen of England had to go into exile and the whole culture of England was in exile for a thousand years and finally somehow they made their way back. Jeez, you get it? So there's no threat from the Hindus. They're just going to tell you about yoga, but only if you want to hear. They're going to teach you how to cook better, a system of medicine that keeps you healthy, a system of practices called yoga that show you how to live better in your body. So Hindu Tva has not been weaponized because it doesn't need to weaponize, and it won't, except to protect itself, but not to go attack anyone. Mm -hmm.